Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I'm back with another hair review. Today's video is sponsored by Lumiere Hair. They were kind enough to send me over this 22 inch straight unit in the color 27. She's like a honey blonde. I've never done honey blonde before, so. You know, that's exciting. But I'm not even gonna do a whole lot of talking. Y'all already know the drill. We're gonna get right into the video. We're gonna start with the unboxing as always. So let's just get into it. So this is their packaging I just showed y'all. It's this little drawstring purple bag that says Lumiere Hair. And they also have like a little QR code on the front that you can scan. And they also have their email and website there as well. Inside your bag, you get two wig caps. These aren't the new wig caps. This is like a brown, like a dark brown. But that's too dark for me. That's darker than my skin tone. So I really can't do nothing with those but they sent those they also send a little card with their social medias on it and contact information there's also an elastic band those always come in handy I always need you an elastic band to melt that lace and then you have your wig and it comes inside of this ziploc bag and the wig is inside of a hairnet this is what it looks like straight out of the bag and then here is the construction it's a 13 by 4 lace frontal it has three combs in the front a comb in the back and adjustable strap and the little like hook type adjustable strap too like not just the straps that come in regular wigs it's like the little little bra strap looking kind you know what i'm talking about they have those sewn in some companies send those with their wigs but they don't sew it in like you can attach it if you want to but they put these in there it's already sewn in for you so you can use it you can tighten it if you want to i usually don't use the adjustable straps at all like on my wigs but i did use a little black band they put in there i use that adjustable strap i put it in like the first notch like the loosest one because y'all know i got a big head so, you know, I wasn't trying to push it. So I put it in the first notch. It fits perfectly on my head, real snug. Yeah, I actually did end up using that. And there's also some lace in the back. Anyway, we'll get into that later. But yeah, I didn't get a video of the hairline, but um, I'm gonna just tell y'all right now that I didn't do anything at all to the hairline. I didn't pluck it. I didn't bleach anything. You don't even have to bleach these knots cause you know, they're not black. So I didn't have to bleach it. But yeah, I didn't do anything at all to this hairline. So what you see is what you get. I also did a glueless install. Why is my voice? What's happening <clears throat> i also did a glueless install with this unit i've done this before i just haven't lately haven't felt like because i've been wearing wigs so much i haven't been wanting to do bow hold i usually use bow hold with my installs but lately i've only been doing glueless installs or using got to be spray um you know glueless installs i don't use any glue it's just hairspray so yeah that's what i've been doing lately with my units um i just feel like it's better on my hair and my hairline you know because that bow hold snatch your hair right out and i don't have time for that you know we're not we're not gonna go bald over here for no company and i'm not going bald through these videos so yeah but i like doing these videos so i'm gonna just start doing got to be spray and doing glueless installs for now but let me mention this after the month of december i'm no longer doing wig content not forever just um for the month of january i'll be wearing my hair because i need to give my hair a break i've been wearing wigs for almost a year straight i got braids once yeah i've been trying to do all these videos and get caught up with all these brands and every time i turn around i have another video to do for another company i need a break i'm gonna finish out the month and do all of the hair videos that i told companies that i would do before the end of the month and then i'll resume my wig content in february so hope that's okay with y'all i know a lot of y'all like my hair content but you know you just got to deal with that you know you have to deal with my other content for now after december 31st you're gonna just have to deal with the other content so i'm gonna be doing some different type of content during that month that i'm taking a break and i'll be wearing my hair i will take y'all along to get my hair straightened um i did that last year which is the last time i got my hair straightened and the last time i wore my hair was this video right here when i got a silk press for the first time in, I don't know how many years. I hadn't, I hadn't got a silk press in years, but yeah. I'm going to be going back to the same girl and getting my hair done again. So I will bring y'all along with me. So I'm gonna be doing videos like that. Like, you know, I'm bringing y'all along to my hair appointment. Um, so y'all can see my real hair. Cause I know some of y'all said that y'all were interested in my real hair when I did the how I prep my hair for wigs and taking out six month old or five month old braids. I don't remember. Yeah, y'all get a chance to see my real hair. Your girl got the inches, you know. So yeah, y'all get a chance to see that. And I may do like hauls, maybe some makeup videos, but no hair content. No, well, no wig content in the month of January. January. So just letting y'all know ahead of time for those of you that kind of come to my channel for hair content It's not gonna be any of that in January. So hopefully you'll stick around Hopefully y'all like my other content because you're gonna get for now. So anyway, that is the unboxing We're gonna jump into the install portion of the video Like I said, I did a glueless install with this unit So I will show y'all the products I used. I didn't really explain it If y'all want a detailed install video or either glueless installs or like my bowl hold type of installs You know ball cap customizing my wigs all that let me know 
but as of now i just speed it up and i show y'all the products i'm using y'all can just watch me do what i do i mean you can kind of put it together you know so yeah let's get into the install portion
All right, y'all, so that was the install portion. Now I'm going to give y'all my thoughts and my review on this unit. First of all, for me to not have used Boho and to only have used Gatsby Spray and the Gatsby Gel in the black bottle, this looks good. Like, and no edges. I didn't do any edges. Flat. Okay, yeah, don't play. I feel like the first lady right now. But yeah, I really laid this. You can't tell me I didn't. So yeah, I was really pleased with the install. The install went by really well. Also, I really like the hairline. Like I said, I didn't pluck it or do anything to the wig. I literally washed it because I always wash my units before I wear them. I literally washed it and then installed it. And this is how it turned out. No edges, no hairline customization, nothing. So the hairline's really good. I like the hairline. I like the lace. I feel like the lace melted really well into my skin. I feel like it matched really well i got it to match really well i didn't struggle trying to get it to match it fit okay let's get into that y'all know i have a big head y'all know i'll be struggling with these companies these hairlines be too far back you know the hairlines i mentioned that before it's like companies be making these wigs but the hairline just on the side it's never the middle section it's the sides that don't be low enough like if the hairline be way back here like you pull one side it be back here you pull this side this side be back here you can't pull them both because it's not going past your hairline on either side so it's just like i don't know what these companies got going on but this unit didn't give me any trouble and i used the um strap the black strap in the back the black adjustable strap not the regular adjustable strap that come in wigs because that one's also in there i use the black one and it fits perfectly on my head especially for a glueless unit that's kind of what you want you want your wig to be like snug enough to be able to wear it glueless you know all i use was spray and it's like pretty fitted to my head like perfectly fitted to my head so i like that i love the little adjustable strap in it the black one that they sewed in there for you i thought that was a nice little touch and it comes in handy especially if you have a smaller head than me and you need it to be tighter you can make it tighter there and you can use the other adjustable strap that's in there as well so yeah i really like that like i said this is 22 inches and i am 5'3 and it stops right about here on me. It definitely is giving 22 inches. The hair is really soft and I feel like it's really good quality and really soft to be like color hair. Like, you know, so yeah, I really like that. It does shed a little bit. Um, When I washed it, it was shedding a little bit. I haven't gotten that much shedding so far, like wearing it and during the install, I didn't get that much shedding. And of course, like during the install, I can't really tell because when I cut the lace, like, you know, sometimes you cut like a few strands or whatever, you get like loose strands. So, you know, I can't tell if that's like the wig shedding on its own or that's hair that I cut. Yeah, but after I brushed out all the shed hair from cutting the lace, I haven't really had any issues with the shedding, but it did shed a little bit, like a good little bit when I washed it, but that was it. I really like it. I'm finna give it a 10 out of 10. I lied, no, I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 because of the density. I don't like how thin this wig is. This wig is pretty thin. My Shein wig was fluttered in this. Y'all know it came out like it was thin in the beginning until I washed it, but I did wash this unit and it's still like, it didn't get any fuller. Like this is all the hair right here in the front. So I didn't like that. I don't like how thin it is. Y'all know I don't do thin anyway. So I would suggest the 180 maybe because this is the 150% density, but it's not doing it for me it's too thin so i'm gonna bump it down to a nine out of ten my bad i feel like this is really like a beginner friendly type of install doing the glueless install if you don't know how to work with bow hold and stuff like that i still did the bog cap just because it is a frontal and you know i'm gonna be parting it and stuff but you do the bog cap with got to be spray as well so not using any glue at all it just turned out really good y'all like it turned out really bomb i'm really proud of it i'm really happy with it and i'm glad that i have to use no bow hold because i hate having to get that stuff off my head that is the most aggravating junk i have ever done getting all bow hold, like Ooh, that is the worst part about installing wigs with boho is getting that stuff off. But guys, be spray, you can just whip that thing and pull it off. So yeah, and the install doesn't take long at all with free spray. So I really like that. So yeah, let me know what y'all think of the glueless install method that I did for this unit. I feel like it worked out really well. I feel like it turned out really well. I feel like it looks really good. Like, I feel like I really laid this, you know. I even put the cheese silk infusion on there. Like, look, look at it. Ain't that how y'all be doing? But yeah, I like this little honey blind unit, y'all. I didn't even read y'all the details. What am I doing? I have lost my mind. Let me read y'all the details real quick on this unit. Like I said, this is a 22 inch unit in the color 27. Like I also mentioned, it is a 13 by four frontal. It also comes in the closure style as well. So you can get it in four by four or five by five, but this is a 13 by four 
lace frontal in 22 inches and I believe it's 150% density. It is 150% density. This is the picture on the website. I'll put the details right here. And yeah, the details will also be in the description box. It'll be everywhere. That's really all I got to say, y'all. I really like this unit, period. That's all I got to say. I'm done. If you want this unit for yourself, you can check out the link in the description box below and use code BF10 to get 10% off of your order. So yeah, make sure you use the code, get you some coins off, because why would you pay full price if you don't have to? That don't make sense. That's all I got to say. I'm done. Make sure you check out my website, whoshebeauty.com, where I sell my lashes, my big blinks, which are my 25 millimeter lashes, and my baby blinks, which are my shorter lashes for my natural girls. I am wearing one of my big blinks right now, one of the newer pairs. This is the part of the fluffy series, my fluffy blinks. They are big blinks, just fluffier. Um, And this is in the style Prada that I'm wearing right now. I'm usually wearing the style Chanel, but I decided to wear Prada today. So yeah, make sure you check out my lashes. I also sell lip gloss, my lip candies, which are my tinted glosses, which are currently sold out right now, but I will be restocking soon. But I have Juicy Watermelon, which is a red tint, Georgia Peach, which is a peachy tint, and Cocoa Kisses, which is what I'm wearing right now, which is a brown tint, all super moisturizing. I ain't worn no other lip gloss since I made these, and I, that's not even me being biased nothing like that it's just every other lip gloss don't feel good on my lips and this do so I'ma wear it. So yeah, make sure you check out my tinted glosses. I also have regular clear gloss. I have strawberry kiwi, which is a plain clear gloss, and then diced pineapples, which is a clear glitter gloss. I also sell bags. I have the crystal money bags. I have spring mini bags. I have rhinestone face mask. COVID is not gone. Please wear a face mask. You can even be cute with it and get a rhinestone one. But yeah, COVID's not gone. So get you a face mask. I also sell jewelry, necklaces, anklets. I sell sweat sets. I sell handmade velvet do-rags. Oh, girl, I forgot my press on. I sell press-ons that I make myself. You can shop any of the designs that I have on my website or you can DM my business page on Instagram, Who She Beauty, and we can discuss a custom order over there. I do accept custom orders. And I also sell lash tweezers. These are my lash tweezers right here. Cute, my little logo on it. Um, if you have trouble applying your lashes, this is what you need. So once you get your lashes from me, make sure you get your pair of lash tweezers on your way out. And yeah, that is everything on my website, I believe. So make sure you check out my website, whoshebeauty.com. Link in the description as well as a link to my business page on Instagram. Well, that is it for this video, y'all. Thank you again to Lumiere Hair for sponsoring this video. Like I said, if you wanna check out this unit, the link will be in the description box below. And yeah, she cute. So see y'all in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.